This is Cloud Core, the cost optimization resource explorer. This is free and open source software built by engineers at Blue Matador. It helps you see real time resource specific costs from your AWS accounts, multiple of them. The way it works is it's going to go out and call AWS APIs from your browser. There's no back end server to this. It's really easy to run as a result. So we're hosting it at tools.bluematador.com slash cloud dash core. Or you can download it from the Git repo and run it yourself. But since it is calling it from the browser, there's no need to store data. There's no need to con be concerned about security or beyond what we've already done anyway. Let's see it in action on a real AWS account that I'm going to create. Now, there's four things that we need to do. First, we'll go to IAM and add a new user. We'll give it programmatic access so that it can call APIs. We'll give it the read-only access managed policy so it has access to multiple services. And then we'll copy and paste the credentials back in. So here we go. Uh, I'm going to go down here, so we're ready to copy and paste. I'm going to go to the IAM wizard, create a new user, give it programmatic access. The permissions are in this attach existing policies over here. Once you do that, you'll want to search. It's kind of a long list. But even if you put in read-only access and spell it right, then you'll still have to scroll down because they have a read-only access policy for most of their services. We're looking for the global read-only access here. We don't need any tags, so we'll just create the user. Once it's created, it'll give us back the API information. I'm going to take the access ID, put it right here. I'll take the secret key, put it right here, and give it a name. I can also choose to encrypt this set of credentials and save it to local storage. So I said there is no back end to this, but we do use your browser's local storage. However, when we do that, it's encrypted using a passphrase that only you know. It can be as a secure or as insecure as you want, depending on your needs. So I'm going to do this just to save me time next time. This is a really good tool to come back and use over and over again. So I'm going to give it an encryption key and then submit. When I submit, it's going to immediately go out and call APIs. We'll see a progress bar. We'll see the resources start to come in. We'll see the regions that it found. We'll see the services that it found. And we'll see the costs for all the various resources. Here we go. So it's now calling APIs at a pretty quick rate and finding all my resources. Every resource that it finds, whether that be an API usage or maybe a KMS key or maybe a Lambda function or whatever, it's gonna come back and it's gonna tell us the price over the next 30 days based on the last day of usage. If you want to use different time frames for that, you can over here. Like if you want to forecast costs for the next day, that's fine. You can do that. And then it sorts all of the resources by cost. So your most costly resources are going to be at the top. For us in this account, that's a DynamoDB table that costs about 20 cents a day. It's not a heavy use uh, AWS account, but this does give us a way big or small, to go in and audit where we're spending our money. So I can look through this and find that my keys over the next month are gonna spend, a, going to cost a dollar. I can see that that backups DynamoDB table is gonna cost six and a half bucks, and so on. And I can filter and sort as you would expect on a table. This is all in the Explorer. There's a couple other links. I think there's a link to the about page. You can read more about it and about security. Uh, there's also a link to our page, Blue Matador, and a link to the GitHub project itself. Give it a try. Let us know what you think. Uh, it's a pretty helpful tool for us so far. And if you like it, try our infrastructure monitoring software too. Just click on the link, read about it, see if it's for you. 
It works really well with AWS. It's just as easy to set up, just as automatic. It's everything you want from CloudWatch that CloudWatch doesn't give you. And that's it. Thanks, everyone.